what's going on guys welcome back to another daily youtube video where we cover the market our trades and all the content by EA. today is friday we sold our team of the weeks the weeks got a little bit lower and they went straight back up we went in on that play but we've been plenty of other plays and made a ton of coins today which we'll get to throughout this video we didn't do it perfectly with the team of the weeks we made coins though overall so we can't be too mad and we won't beat ourselves up about that but we can make coins on other trades and we'll get into that in just one second and i'll show you some of the trades we have made and some more trades we're going to make Click this button in the Discord and you'll be entered to win one of seven three-day free patron spots, as well as getting access to free trades and tips from other traders such as these and myself. Also, make sure you follow the Twitch channel. We do stream twice daily, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. every single day. Apart from Saturday, I'm away. Pardon me. And exactly, and also, sorry, follow the, twi the Twitter to get access to the most early leaks as soon as we get them. Here you'll see some of my sales, for example, on cards we've sold, which I'll show you throughout this video. In terms of the content today, we of course got the Hero Refresh. We also got the Rotor Knockout Trailblazer Refresh, which both required Team of the Weeks. But we also got something else which required Team of the Weeks, which was an SBC. Irving Lozano. So I believe he upgrades the Pro. I'm not too sure which one it is. Manu Bachuri. And that's how he can get upgraded. So there's a big potential for some upgrades on this card, if that Pro is even good, who no one really knows. I don't. 120k SBC, 57% like ratio on footbin. Comes with two packs back, so minimum, maximum you're probably paying is 110 with all the packs back. Decent value SBC, honestly seems a little expensive to me, but hey, that caused demand. We have got a couple other SBCs here too, they're not player SBCs though. Um, they are these random, like actual pro player ones, which we've got two of them so far. The Bachuri guy and Mark 11. Here you can see these are probably for solution trading or something. I haven't even opened these, I won't be doing those. But that is what we got there. And then we got ourselves a full promo team, which I'll show you right now on Footbin. Here you can see each of these cards are assigned to a pro basically, and based on how far they go, they'll get certain upgrades, which you would have seen on, for example, Lozano. If you want to pause the video there, you can go have a look. Colin is extinct, I think, at 700 or 600k. Diogo Jota is an objective who can get upgraded by doing another objective in the future. Not too bad there. Uh, also, very, very solid card. Uh, a few other notable cards are cards like Deli Ali. William, for some reason, got one of the biggest boosts I've ever seen on the most random card. No idea why he got a bigger boost in cards like, I don't know, Kula Bali, who's higher rated than him, but who, who really knows why they juiced him up so, so much. But he looks amazing. Fabinho's nice and cheap for a Brazilian CDM. Kula Bali as well. Caramo. And then a few other fodder cards. And Calvin Phillips, who's been assigned to Tex, if you guys know who Tex is, one of the better pros. So these cards are upgraded with these players. So basically, like the concept is road to the finals, road to the knockouts, but they are assigned to pros instead of teams. So these cards will move up and down with panic. Some players won't even be playing every single week, so you need to keep an eye on that. For now, though, we will not be trading these cards. We know Jota is the objective, so what is the first thing we did? We decided today, let's go and invest in some links to that card. So the first card we bought, we bought Mara's before 6 and Gallagher before 6. We've been lazy selling. These are all posted on the Patreon just today. You can see by the time and date, currently 10, 20 p.m. Uh, Gallagher, we have been lazy selling him. I'll show you some sales. Mares also were lazy selling him because of the introduction of two very affordable cards from that league. I thought Mares would do well, and he is lazy selling well. Robertson was a really good trade called by a trader AVP. Already sold two for 220 plus, and he has since come back down. I picked up another one. Kane, haven't got a sale just yet. We'll see how that goes. Di Lorenzo is also not doing too well. He's actually coming down. Even though there's not a single right back in the squad, Di Lorenzo continues to drop, which is surprising to me, especially with a card like Locatelli out. It was a very, very good card and also Italian. Maybe the links aren't too hard to get for Locatelli. But I think he looks really good. And there's not a single right back. But in other respect, a card which has done better is Carvajal. We did buy quite high here. I expect him to keep going up higher and higher. If we look at Thiago over here as well, another great link to Robertson. We liked that a lot. Second in form, Doku. Already sold this one for 128. I'll show you in a second. To Stegen. Didn't actually buy this myself because I'm a bit scared of Schmeichel SPC coming soon. As a leaked icon. Tomori, we saw this crazy fluctuation on Tomori today. Where Tomori went all the way up to 350k. This is pointed out by V273, a great trader in our stream. He was all the way up at there, 340, after being at a nice high of 290. And I saw him down here at 275. I was like, this is easily going back to 300. And he did, and he has obviously since come back down. Another trade we made was Timo Werner, 100k, sold at 110. And I've already sold a Ronaldo at 73. I will quickly flick through the sales I actually have just to prove to you. I have got the sales. Uh, and you can see there's Renard, Robertson. There was another one. I accidentally cleared it. Uh, Mares, Two Mares, as you can see. A Dirk Kaut lazy sale. Milinkovic Savic. Also another, another good card from that league. There goes Thiago, Kirby, Werner, Tomori. 
And then loads of Gallagher's are laser selling this hour. You can see Gallagher's clearly laser selling very well. Maybe there's a sentiment Evo or something. And there's a Doku. And then I tried to get in on some Evo trading with the fella and Doku. Gold card, but I may have been slightly late because he's yet to sell. But I don't have too many of them, so I'll just laser sell them as that Evo should come at some point. As with every Evo, you sell in the hype before the Evo actually comes. And we'll click relist all. And all those cards should go over the next 24 hours. I'd like to be out most of those before six. You see 20 sales, 58 cards, 762k. We're looking good. We did also get lightning rounds today. We did get some supply on some fodder, but not on the fodder you think. So even though the team week supply was crazy on Thursday with the marquee matchups, it doesn't seem to be as crazy today because they are not really dropping anywhere near as much as you'd expect them to with respect to how they died on Thursday, which kind of goes to show you it was a lot of investors panic selling. But we got caught up in that. And uh, there has definitely been an increase in supply, but today, even with weekend league rewards and these lightning round packs, the team leagues are not dropping, but people are still packing them. So clearly the demand is meeting the supply today. And that's why we lost the coins yesterday. We live and we learn. And honestly, it is what it is. We can't dwell on these things. We can't be perfect, but we can keep making coins. As you see, and I've already sold 20 cars today. So you can imagine that's over 100k profit easily. 83s actually had a little rise today with all the requirements and stuff. So they actually aren't low. They're actually higher. They're 1.6 right now. 1.3 is still looking like a great buy price, which you could have got on Thursday, which we did recommend on stream. 82 is rough min price once again, back at the 900, even with all the supplies. So again, if you get these at min price, get these at min price, 750 on bid or 700, and get these at 1.3, and you're literally in the money. The pool and other 84s, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7 are great. People are getting 85s for almost 6k on bid, as shown by the free section in our Discord here. Not that section, sorry, it was right here. Look at these bids, quite crazy with supply. So that's why you want to join the Discord because you get free tips just like that. 86 are very, very low. He was picking up these at 10k. You can see here another post by Mr. Buy in the Discord, another fantastic trader, 10 to 50. So you're getting some really good discounts bidding during lightning rounds. 87s are crazy low, almost at 15k probably on bid. And 88s almost at 22k on bid, and these are 34. You can see the fodder has really struggled today. These two are kind of down a little bit, but nothing really going on there too, too much. You can see there was opportunity everywhere on the fodder and probably still will be by the time you're watching this video if you want to try and make a move. If you look at the triple threat promo as well, obviously the most recent promo we've had, we've got a couple of movements to some cards, but honestly nothing too crazy. Greedish is over 200k, helped by the fact that Calvin Phillips is actually quite affordable and got a good pro assigned to him. Yaya Torre is up nice and high, Gove is up nice and high. Thiago is up a nice man, he's up like 10k today just as Carvajal is and I'd expect these two to continue up, especially with the Jota um, being able to Go up in price, uh, in value, so in, in stats, sorry. Carbhal just chilling, slowly rising. I expect all of these cards to steadily rise, to be honest. I'm not too stressed about them right now. But if you want to be safe, you always sell before 6 p.m. And obviously, we're selling everything on Monday latest because of the Black Friday panic. Gallagher, you can see again, if he is actually 14k, you see, you've seen how many I've sold now. Gallagher looks 13,750. We, we tipped him at 14k. And just look how many I've sold, just to make this more clear. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And all I'm doing is trying to get for under 13.5k now, and I'm listing for 3k more than I buy, which is easy 2k per card. So two, four, six, seven K. So that's eight seven cards. So that's 14k, the easiest coins you'll make in your life. And honestly, if you're on a low budget, just get a ton of Gallagher's and just keep listing them up. We have had an Evo leak, which has been posted as well on the Discord. I believe it's posted here. These are the requirements. Uh, it looks like the best kind of cards you can use are Bella. Doku and uh, Leon Bailey from Aston Villa. Obviously, those you sell in the hype. They've obviously gone up and come down since. If they're low, you can invest in them, but you do not hold these into 6 p.m. content or you will get wrecked. Um, it's looking like the upgrade will be decent because apparently, going to run the icon market that Lake leaked on Twitter, the upgrade that this Doku will have will be similar to the one of a second in form. So you can see that the boost is quite, quite significant there. Maybe he'll even get a playstyle plus or something. Who really knows? But he is holding 3K. That is your Womba Saka this week. Um, and then we have Fella as well, who's also quite high. Probably will have slightly less demand because she's a woman's card. And also, yeah, she's right back down. She's come down really fast. So I will try and lay sell out mine. I did pay like 2.5k for mine. But it is what it is. And obviously, you expect these to go right back down. She does have some very good positions there too. So hopefully, she can, they, you can Evo a card in multiple positions, but she is 3-3 three, three as well. So yeah, you want to always sell in the hype of these cards or you will get burnt. And you definitely, definitely do not want to hold these into content, especially if the Evo comes out. Because the Evo is leaked to come out on Saturday. But still, you sell in the hype every single time, especially if you have profit, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, guys, make sure you follow the Twitch channel to see the 
Most active and early trades as soon as we make them live on stream. We stream twice a day, as I said, night and day. Follow the Twitter for early leaks and tweets and stuff too. And just for like regular keeping up to date with all the information in the community and our trades as well. Make sure you join the free trade Discord. We have got this Thunderstruck promo leak too. That's the next one coming next Friday. And yeah, there will be no video on Saturday or Sunday when you guys watch as I'm out the entire Saturday for a friend's birthday. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll probably see you all on Monday. Peace.